sometimes you have events that have uh, capacities. And so I want to take a look at how to handle that. So we don't have this in summer camp. What we're going to do is go to a different signup. So we're going to go back to our main signups page. And we are going to search for a leadership conference that we've got going on. Thank you for the spelling assistance. All right, let's go to the leadership conference. Now, um, in this case, oh, now see, look at this already. We've got all this, all this green. This is looking so good. Um, we've got a lot of people all signed up and ready to go for this. And we can see on the left, we've got um, our active attendees, 56 people signed up. But then we've got a wait list. We've got two people on the wait list. So I want to show you how you set this up. We'll go over to Manage. And on the Manage tab, now we've got uh, in the selections, again, this is the, the main categories that people are selecting as they go through the sign-up process. We can enter this capacity for, um, for these different uh, areas. And um, you know what? This got adjusted. Let me see. So we got 10, uh, 10 table leaders. We're all sitting around tables. We've got 10 table space for 10 table leaders. And um, let me just go ahead and, and edit this because this is, uh, should be at 50. So let me do that. So our example can uh, hopefully work here. Um, so we've got space for, for 50 people who are just at tables and uh, not leading tables. And so, and this shows us how many are actually signed up for these different selections right now. And um, so we've got uh, some space still for the table leaders, but we are full for the, the non-leaders. So we go back to registrations tab right here, and we can see what's going on with that. So if we go to our wait list, we can see that um, Kylie uh, wants to come, um, but was all full when she went through and tried to register, and so she is now on the wait list. Um, so sometimes what happens is all of the room becomes available, and you can move people from the wait list into the, the active attendees. So let's see how that works. Let's go back to our active tab. And let's say um, somebody d doesn't have um, as many people as they thought they were going to. So let's go down to Brian. He uh, had, had seven people who were going to be there, plus a leader, and he's realized he doesn't need that many spots, actually. So we can go through and edit his registration and say he just needs four standards. And now it, it shows us right here as we do it how many spots are going to be available now once we adjust this. So is it going to be some open room now? So let's go ahead and save that. And then let's go back to that main registrations tab. Now that we've got some room, we can go to our wait list and we can go into Kylie's registration. And we can go ahead and it gives us this option because it knows there's some spots available to go ahead and promote Kylie um, onto the main roster. So now she's there. If we go back and just confirm, make sure that we see how this is working. Let's go back to the registrations tab. And as it loads the drama, uh, there's Kylie right there on the list of active participants um, with her, um, her two people who are now going to be able to attend this leadership conference. Very cool.